So, Curtis. Yeah, man. Can I said, we've got to do an ad. I've never done one before. Uh-oh. What should we do? I have no idea, bro. I, I, like, I ever made an ad before. What, what, what are we doing an ad for? I don't know. We just say we're like a New Japan Pro Wrestling podcast, and we just put a bunch of clips like here. Arguably the most shredded guy. So yeah. you really want to get there, too. <laughs> uh, I, maybe a little bit bigger. Yeah. We'll see. Heard that here. Michael Richards <laughs> calling Jay White small compared to him. <laughs> he, uh, I love it. This picture you've painted for me. I, I want to hang it up. I want to frame it and hang it up in my in my bedroom. Yeah. Uh, we don't have a WWE tryout or a New Japan tryout every second week. And now I'm in Bullet Club. And here? Will Ospreay versus Kenny Omega. Do you want to just go off about this match? How do you take or talk about one of I think probably the best matches you've ever seen. That's an ad, right? Yeah, yeah, that works. That that that's that's brilliant because then all our work's already been done for us and we don't have to do anything. Aha, uh-huh. past us did it, present us living in the now. Look at us. Look, Look at, at that. us being friggin' brilliant. Mate, minimum effort, maximum output. Okada Shorts podcast. Check it out on the Count Out Network at Okada Shorts. Rate and subscribe, listen or die. You're listening to a Count Out Podcast. It's Amanda and I'm Ashley and this is how to talk to your friend about wrestling the podcast the podcast um it has been a few weeks we went on a bi-weekly schedule and then life happened yeah I can't remember if I was dying or you were dying a little bit a little bit of both a little bit of both so um we missed our bi-weekly schedule but we're back and on track yeah <laughs> six weeks later um all right has, has it been six weeks? I don't no. know it's been like three I think yeah I think it's been three weeks but whatever we're back on track um it will be better bear with us but yeah so we're better and we're back yeah. on schedule <laughs> hopefully <laughs> hopefully sticking to the schedule we'll see time. if we can do this fingers fucking crossed um in some news since we've been gone for so long we are saying goodbye to the count out network that we've been on since essentially we started yeah i think they i think we joined like what just five or six episodes in yeah we they swooped us up very very early ryan and mikey we love you guys we owe you a lot of knowledge that we have gathered over the course of time um ryan i will say i will miss your monthly numbers at the end of every month yeah yeah um and all of the fucking google sheets your love of google sheets is also my love of google sheets and i appreciate it so much it's just a whole (laughs) bunch of nerdiness we appreciate it um but we are going to venture out on our own and kind of do some new fun shit i think yeah so it was just a it's you know part of growth it is a part of growth but we love the count out boys i still hold all three titles of the count out network (laughs) oh my god so i'll be leaving the company with my titles i don't know you you may have to you may have to uh surrender your titles i don't know if i'm going to surrender them but if somebody wanted to challenge me for them back i'd be into that okay but i feel like you can't just get them back you have to fight for it yeah personally speaking okay so yeah, I got the belts. I'll give you guys an updated picture with them if you need it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, they're still around. They're they're still in safe keeping. Mm-hmm. Um they exist in real life still. Yeah, we you know, so we're we have a lot of fun new things coming up. Um gonna be kind of a crazy summer, but it'll be good. It's gonna be fucking wild is what it'll be yeah um so we are back and we are back with a fucking we went to a wrestling show episode we and then if just to add to it i actually almost died this weekend because i went to <laughs> blink when you two on friday gcw with you on saturday and prestige on sunday you and did a lot that was a lot seeing as i got home at almost 12 30 every single night and then Monday came around and I didn't drink enough water all weekend <laughs> and I had too much caffeine and my brain was like, you know what? That's not okay. And that's, that, that ain't wanted it. to crack in half. So 
I didn't do as much as Ashley did. I just did GCW. So, um, so yeah, here we are to talk about GCW. As always, GCW holds my heart for live shows. The energy, the crowd, it's just a level that I need it to be. Somebody got ejected. Oh, okay. So I found out what exactly happened with that. Too. Okay, please tell me. Um, okay, so uh there's some drunk guy. Okay. And he was like yelling and trying to get into places he wasn't supposed to. Ooh. Like apparently. And then he threw a drink on somebody oh, because <laughs> that girl was like, fuck this shit, like, leave me alone. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And so he threw a drink on her, and so she fucking swung on him. Because of course. Oh, because because babes at GCW will swing. Yeah, don't don't fucking pour a drink on someone. Like, nah. So it was a whole mess. He got ejected, and then he, I think he was just talking so much shit. This also all happened during Effie and Kenny King's match, which was not allowed. I don't know if the match had actually started yet, right? Like it, they were, they were just, like about to square oh, up and then it like kicked off. Fucking dick. <laughs> but also like I haven't seen anybody ejected from an ECW show or G- ECW, who am I? GCW show in a minute, so that was kind of fun. Mm-hmm. I enjoyed that part of it. Um I was 1000% down for the fucking card on this one. Like Oh, okay. Yeah. So there were a few changes. There were a few changes, but overall, very strange changes. They but were, they were some um, strange ones. Yeah. So I was fucking stoked for this because one, we got Rena, mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. and she doesn't come to LA. We also got, I've never seen uh, Maki Ito. So we got her, and I was fucking fantastically stoked about it. Yeah. You haven't seen Maki. Um, She's come, but she came during Mania Week and yeah. I wasn't around. No, we saw her in Prestige. That's right. We did see her prestige. Yeah. Well, I'll shut the fuck up then. What do I know? But you haven't seen her since she's become MDK mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. has a fucking pizza cutter with a bow on it. Um, Cutest shit in the entire world, by the way. Yeah, absolutely. And then the reason I bought the tickets, Zach fucking Sabre Jr. versus Nick Gage. And you and I were split on that one. Yeah. We were split. The whole time we the were split. The whole time we were split. But we'll get to that in a second. Yeah. A lot happened. Um, so we were slightly tired to the party <laughs> just because we pre-gamed too much in the parking we lot. We pre-gamed too much in the parking lot. Um, shout out. I didn't eat one, but apparently Dom, Dominique and her husband's cookies were Oh, fantastic. Jesus fucking Christ, dude. Dom and her husband's cookies. It was oatmeal chocolate chip cookies and they were fucking delicious they i were- took one and split it with des and i'm upset that i didn't just keep it for myself yeah because it was really good um yeah apparently those cookies also got passed around to like some of the wrestlers and stuff um, fantastic as they should yeah so everyone enjoyed those cookies so i was standing and there was still a line to get in that technically the show was sold out yeah it kind of felt like it it started. It felt like it started earlier than it should have. Yeah, but <laughs> that's just because, eight. But but that's just because the sun sets super late in the summer. That's um, true. Yeah. So while we were walking into the line, fuck it. I heard Cole's Cole Radrick's theme starting. and I was like, God damn it. Same. So his is fun. Yeah, his he's super fun to yell at when he comes out, like in a loving way. Yes. Of I'm course. not. I'm not booing. We're not yet. No, Cole. we're not booing. I am the girl who had the ratty daddy sign. So let's just. That, yeah, we're only supporting Ratty Daddy yeah. when he comes out. Um, and then <laughs> versus Starboy Charlie. Okay, Starboy Charlie. When we when I first started seeing him wrestle, was in long boys and like no shirt, whatever. Yeah, wrestling, his cute little star wrestling boots, right? Now, then it it evolved into fucking Osh Osh Gosh Bagosh uh, <laughs> overalls. Yes, and now the overalls are lighter and shorter. And this, you know, these are choices being made. I don't know why these choices are being made, but also like it's memorable. Yeah, because it comes out of fucking nowhere. I just don't understand not you know what you know what it is not all wrestlers have like a full realized gimmick yet and yeah. Starboy Charlie is like 12 so he's still figuring it out but he'll get there yeah he'll get there he'll figure it out yeah um so 
Starboy Charlie versus Cole Roderick. Um, I will be completely honest. I walked into the Ukrainian Cultural Center and immediately peed. And I'm pretty sure I missed the entirety of this match. Oh. Well, we saw a good a good chunk of it. A little it. bit of it? Yeah. Okay. Um, but it's Starboy Charlie is a fun wrestler to watch. Cole Roderick, always a hands down fun one to watch. Yeah. I don't love the goatee, but that's just personal preference. <laughs> hey, we love Cole. Um, so yeah, I mean, good fun match. I can't believe Starboy won. Oh yeah, like I forgot. About I'm that. like, what? What did Cole do? <laughs> <laughs> what happened here? Yeah, <laughs> but you know, it was a good. It was still a good match, even though I only caught the ass end of it, and I don't really remember much of it. Yeah, but I was. But like oh. you said, it did feel like it started early. There was that, and then I just remembered that I crushed an entire bang. Oh, yeah. So Amanda was literally off her fucking I was, ass. I was out of control. Yeah. Because I don't ever drink a whole one. No. I always drink like half maybe, and then I leave it. But I 1,000% sucked down a whole ass bang. You were fucking like screaming <laughs> on the freeway. <laughs> and I was just like. I'm, I'm gonna die. I'm sorry. I'm gonna die. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> We've also agreed that Ashley can be the passenger princess now. So I said I would drive. We'll drive. I'm gonna drive from now on. We will make it there. Ashley will be clutching the oh shit bars the whole time, but like we will make it places. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you will still need to get to my place though, That's because only because like I cannot be trusted to get us anywhere on the time that you want to get there. Yeah. So I will force us out of the house yeah but. just get to me and then i'll get us there sounds good we can do that sick um next match after remembering that i chugged a bang was kevin knight versus alec price right kevin knight listen okay he's hard to look at but that's just because he's so goddamn attractive <laughs> Like he's he makes, hard to look at. He makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> I love it. I've seen him three times now. And the first time was at the New Japan Dojo show. Nice. So it's like a room full of 40 people and he's <laughs> wrestling a fucking student. Like, and so <laughs> he's just so charismatic and so odd (laughs) does it just hurt at more Mm -hmm. every time yeah every time you see him it just hurts a little bit more yeah i'm -hmm. sorry i'm sorry that you had to deal with that pain yeah it sounds it sounds like it would oh yeah be rough i'm sure and then the following night i had to watch him wrestle fucking zack saber jr jeez and guess what that was a fucking choice of a lifetime and i was like who do i choose both of them front row seating yeah that day (laughs) front row to Kevin and I getting thrown around. Anyway, Elk Price, I just like yelling garbage at him because it's fun to say. Is that the one with the emo haircut? Yeah, it's kind of long. Okay, that's what I thought. Yes. I think I peed again during this match. Uh, Dude, I'm going to be completely honest. I think I peed a lot during the beginning of these matches. (laughs) I would make sure to be there for Nick Gage. Oh, yeah. Like, I had to make sure that I was present the entire time Nick Gage was around. (laughs) Yeah. So, Um, my apologies, everyone. Yeah. Anyway, this was absolute banger. This is where, like, Cole and Starboy was really hard hitting, like, surprisingly. Mm -hmm. But this one also was like, oh, shit. Okay, we're going. GCW came to fuck shit up. Yeah. And it was like, to watch these two dudes just fucking demolish each other. So good. So good. Um, Kevin Knight won. I have a terrible pun. Let's hear it. Thank you, GCW. Because the name of the show was Thank Me Later. Gross so fun oh yeah i would i had energy drink but i was still tired but i was getting silly ashley tired which means i was singing the fucking song you're singing every song yeah anyway um then we get the tag team the tag team match oh my god love of my life so you're right okay so it was um los mesisos versus joey janela and sawyer wreck Joey Janela and Sawyer Rex seemed like a very unlikely tag team. It's like you're, it's but your, it worked. It's your punk girlfriend and your like weird shitty little like uh, party boy party boyfriend. Yeah, it worked. It worked. I love that they came out to Sawyer's song. Hell yeah! Like because like Joey's song is a banger, but I'm glad we came out to Sawyer's. That was the right yeah. choice. Um, we got 
Sickle Pay had that fucking backpack and it was cracking me up. This he man wrestled. Wrestled with the backpack. The whole time. Yes. And then the other man wrestled with a whole full fucking bulletproof vest on. Because he still hurt. Oh. He got hurt at uh Cages around Terminal Tournament of Surround, whatever it's called. Um he got pretty hurt. And Fuck. I'm like, motherfucker, can you rest? Just, just take chill. it off. Just take it off. We're fine. Just chill. Like, go take a nap. We'll figure it out. Well, yeah. Like you don't. You don't need to do all this. Um, um but we got it. Los Mosquitos are is so fun to watch. They are very fun. We were given the largest ladder in this match. Oh yeah, which is so funny because um, Des was like, "I wonder if there's gonna be ladders." I'm like, "Probably not." And then boom, <laughs> there's and a then, fucking ladder. And then here's a ladder. <laughs> Um, so that was fun. I love when they bring the ladders. Uh, the, the ladder that they fucked with though, was like a 12 foot one. It was very <laughs> tall. And pardon me. I don't know if this is for anybody else. I am not tall, but you put my body on a ladder and I am instantly afraid of heights. So yeah. I wonder if this happens for taller people. Like you're extra tall. Yeah. Like Sawyer climbed to the almost top of it. And I was like, Sawyer, get down. Like, there was a really cute moment where her and Joey were like holding hands on the ladder. And I was like, get the fuck out of here. It was pretty cute. This was a fun match. This was hard hitting. There was a lot of good fucking flips and moves and slams. Mm-hmm. Um, like, but like you said, Los Macisos is amazing to watch. Yeah, they're like, super fun. They're fucking technical as fuck. They do all kinds of crazy shit. It was rad. Sawyer Wreck is just a fun time always. Yeah. And Joey Janela is just down to bleed. Yeah. Like he's just down for whatever. He's just down to bleed. And that man's not worried about looking ugly because in his last match, he's fucking lost a tooth or something. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. There was one point where Siegel and I put his little headphones on Joey and it was like, that's so fucking <laughs> funny. Like it was just so funny. <laughs> his little white headphones. Oh my gosh. This match was a banger for sure. Um, what we were originally going to get after that was supposed to be Kevin Blackwood versus Blake Christian. So I want to know. Do you want to know what happened? Because I can tell you. Sure. Um, it sucks. But when your champ is contracted to another company. Yeah. He may get pulled. Sure. Okay. So he got pulled. He got pulled. Okay. Because and he had to go to work. The champ being Blake Christian? Blake Christian. Oh, okay. Well, okay. I'm not... It wasn't the saddest moment. Well, yeah, because fuck Blake Christian. But, but <laughs> I felt bad for Kevin Blackwood not to have his singles match. Yeah, that did kind of suck. Well, and I also wonder just like back... Like, I want to know backstage what that scramble looks like. Oh, yeah. The like, fuck. Okay, now we got to throw something together. Like, for I sure. just want to know what that looks like. But we got, like, two, essentially two different matches out of it. Yeah. We got Jimmy Lloyd versus <laughs> Lum- Dude, would I tell you this was the weirdest pairing in the entire world, but it worked? It worked. It so worked well. so well. Yeah. Fucking Santana Jackson is one of my favorite my- gimmick wrestlers. Oh, my God. And I love, okay, so we went with a bunch of people. My favorite thing is like people who are not expecting fucking Santana Jackson. Yes. And, and then <laughs> Santana Jackson shows up. Yes. And it's like, it is high theater. It is. It is art. It is art. 1000%. And when I tell like this motherfuckers, okay, since we stand where we stand now in the entrance where they all come out, like get the fuck out of here. You get an up close view of all of these men. Yeah. And women. And, um, like the amount of makeup put on his face to look like Michael Jackson. Yeah. One, oh my God. And then to wrestle in that. And then to wrestle in that. Yeah. And then Santana Jackson, Santana fucking Jackson gives us Thriller Jackson yeah. in the middle of the match. Mm-hmm. I have now seen this man wrestle twice. He has done it both times I have seen him wrestle. I hope he continues to do this because when I tell you that this, this is what wrestling and theater is. <laughs> <laughs> this yeah. is the wrestling I am asking for. Jesus fucking Christ. Him and Jimmy Lloyd are going at it. Everything's fine. He's doing the hoo hoos and yeah. the fucking moonwalk and all of that. Out of nowhere, Santana Jackson gone. Disappears. Disappears. Nowhere to be found. Here's my favorite part. Everyone in the crowd is like, where the fuck did he go? Yeah. Like, fuck heads, you're not paying attention. Even Jimmy Lloyd's like, where'd he go? Where'd he go? Dude, like the entire crowd was so confused. The entire crowd turned towards the entrance doors. Yeah. 
to like, oh, okay, he's going to come back over here. And then all of a sudden, fucking Thriller starts <laughs> playing and I know exactly what's happening. Yeah. And then fucking Santana Jackson pops up with a werewolf mask and the red fucking jacket yeah. from Thriller on. Yep. And it is amazing. And he just takes Jimmy Lloyd out. And he just takes him out. Oh, it was so the, good. It's so the, good. If you ever, like, I promise, if you ever get to see Santana Jackson, just do it. Just do it. Just do, It's worth it. If you see him on a card that you're going to that show, even if you're not going to that show, please just go. Please. Because it's so good. It's so goddamn good. It, like, and it hurts. Yeah. It hurts. But it's so good. <laughs> I'm so happy. And you know what? Jimmy Lloyd, good job. That's all I gotta say. Jimmy Lloyd did do a good job. I'm uh, down for all of it. So the match that we got also because of this little quick cancellation was Titus Alexander, Jack Cartwheel, and Kevin Black. Another kind of weird one. I mean, not necessarily. Jack Cartwheel is a staple. He's super fun. I like his cartwheel business. <laughs> his cartwheel business. That's what I'm calling it. It's cartwheel business. Um, Blackwood, I'm pretty meh for, but the crowd loves him. Yeah. And Titus Alexander, I do not give any fuck about. I don't. Him. Yeah. Yeah. Like I. Okay. So the, I will say I'm. I'm sorry. I'm gonna reference Prestige because I went to the show the following night. He wrestled Nick Wayne. Okay. And he gave this like whole speech about how important Nick Wayne is to him and stuff. And like it was very sweet. And so Aww. I was like, oh, Titus has a heart. And then I went back to just being like, whatever. I mean, none of the wrestlers at GCW really talk much for the headliner. So I guess that checks out. Yeah. Like maybe if I heard more from him, I'd appreciate him more. Maybe, probably not. Um, <laughs> but it is what it is. Mm-hmm. Um I peed again. I, this is okay. This episode is just me telling everybody when I went to the bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't. Oh, you did. You peed during this because you didn't. You also didn't want to miss Rena. No, and, I didn't. And uh, Maki. No, because I fucking love Maki. Um. So I went to the bathroom. I know cartwheel started off the whole like you do a cartwheel and you do a cartwheel and Titus was like fuck cartwheels let's do this and just punch somebody in the face. Yeah. Um. And then we kicked off the three way match. Mm-hmm. Um shocking cartwheel one yeah jack cartwheel one i thought for sure it was gonna go to blackwood right um but you know gcw does this to me a lot yeah (laughs) where i'm like it's obviously gonna be this person that wins and then i don't know who's the decision maker back there but you guys keep me definitely guessing yeah seriously (laughs) um yeah uh jack cartwheel's outfit said trans rights too no I, he didn't actually say trans rights but it was like trans it was a trans colors yeah that was last year i was like that's okay. that's nice <laughs> it's weird to see him in pink and blue though because it normally isn't he in green yeah or like pretty like mellow colors yeah it was just very red. bright it was like neon blue well, and he also does like the streamers on his yeah. arms and boots and stuff so like yeah. and his hair is like blonde now or some shit i don't know yeah, he bleached it um, which is funny because Kevin Blackwood's hair is usually bleached and it wasn't. It was not. Yeah. <laughs> I'm the, we're just all changing our looks. Yeah. All the time. We're allowed because we're all grown-ups. Maybe. Maybe. Okay, so then we have I don't want to say the main match because it's not, but like a, one of the bigger matches. Yeah, it definitely was like one of the uh anticipated. Yeah, matches. like this brought this brought the crowd. It was Rena versus maki yeah and it was fucking phenomenal rena is so fucking cute oh my god i can't handle it she's very cool she is very cool just like she has cool vibes she looks cool like she don't give a shit she does not give a shit yeah at all and then tiny little angel big-eyed baby maki ito who is now coming out to for whom the bell tolls which is a lot (laughs) but it's so good it's because everyone gets just as excited for sure yeah well, I'm like, I mean, have we, ha- okay, so I don't know, I don't know the full history of MDK. Have we had another wrestler join the gang uh, to the degree in which, like, Maki's a part of the gang? I don't know. I don't feel like we have. I need to consult an MDK historian, and then we'll find out. Okay, back to you. So we'll check back. Since I'm still learning about wrestling, these are the things I'm, un- these are what I wonder about. <gasps> I'll, I have something for the end. Oh, okay. Fuck. All right um okay a throwback if you will a fucking throwback sick um this match hit so fucking hard yeah 
and I fucking forgot about Maki's stupid ass fucking like just stand fall thing. Hardest head in the world. I She's fucking the forgot. The so she tried to set it up and do it and she missed. And then it was like, oh no, my head. And I was like, fucking Maki. I forgot that this is one of the moves, yeah. which made it. She brought her pizza slicer out at some point and it does have the cutest, stupidest little bow mm-hmm. on it. <laughs> she cut up Rena's head on every single side. Every single side of the ring. ring. Mm-hmm. Um, chairs came out. Doors came out, which like don't chant. We want tables. We want doors. There is no tables. There's doors. There's doors. Um, Jesus. but that's always a good time. The door was fun. Yeah. The pizza slicing on every side of the ring was fun. Mm-hmm. I got video when it came to our side, so that was yeah. nice. Um, Jesus. And they just fucking like hit hard, and they were going for it. It was awesome. Yeah, it was so good to watch. It was it was a fun match. It, it was one of the longer matches of the night too, mm-hmm. but it definitely was worth it. it. Yeah, it didn't lose any momentum. I did appreciate that there was a women's match further down the line, like toward the main. Yeah. Um. So that was cool beans. Mm-hmm. Oh um, yeah, and Rena won. She did. She did. Apparently, there's no more light tubes at in LA. They're oh, not, that's no, not allowed anymore. No. Cookie, sorry. Oh, sorry. <laughs> like talking to my cat. <laughs> that's okay. You're fine. Well, that's. I wonder why. Well, maybe it's just messy. I would believe that. I could see that. Where they're like, I just don't want to clean this shit up anymore, please. <laughs> yeah. Um. Next, we get our wonderful, wonderful Abby. Our wonderful king, Abby. Uh, has been working out. Effie's sober right now. Effie's making gains on that body. Yeah. He looks fucking big boy Effie right now. Yeah. And we're for it. Yeah. Effie, as far as I know, is sober right now. And oh, I could have given him a fake beer. You could have. Well, he doesn't drink anyway. He's he's um oh weed sober too. Dang. All right, yeah. Effie. So um yeah, so it was Effie versus Kenny King. I've wanted to see Kenny King for a while now. Um, it was good. That's when the shit kicked off, which is kind of weird at the beginning. The, the beginning of the end. Oh yeah, that weird ass fucking fight, fight. or whatever. Uh, ejected. Ejected. Kicked out of the fucking place. Um, You're gone forever. Yeah, just don't be a dick at wrestling shows. Like, what the fuck? Anyway, um, it was an Effie match. It was. F- it was phenomenal. Kenny King is fantastic. He was not playing into any of Effie's bullshit. He was not. Which sometimes I love. I, you know, I get, okay, I see the fun of both. Like, I see the fun of having a random wrestler play into Effie's antics, but then another wrestler just being like, sir, no. Sometimes you gotta make daddy work for it. Sometimes, yeah, I'm not repeating <laughs> that phrase, but yes, yes. So, it was so great. Fun. It was, it was super fun. Um, Effie's always a good time. Mm-hmm. How can you not just be in love with Effie? Yeah, he's fun to watch. Yeah. Like, he puts on a good match. He did some fun shit. We did see a butt. We did see a butt. Effie's butt. That's true. We did see Effie's butt. Oh, Effie. And your butt. <laughs> oh, Effie, Effie, Effie. Um, Should we get to the main? We can get, we can get to the main. <laughs> let's get to the main all right so um i'm just gonna talk about my piece of the main okay and then you can talk about your piece of the main (laughs) since we were so split down the fucking middle on this yeah all right so the main of gcw's thank me later was zach saber jr versus nick gage yeah um i hands down mdk all day nick gage please please yeah. And Ashley was unfortunately rooting for Zach Saber Jr. Yeah. Not unfortunate for her because he ended up winning. Z- ZSJ. ZSJ. <laughs> ZSJ. Oh my God. That's what people were fucking chanting. No, they're going, oh, Zach Saber Jr. That's what it was. <laughs> God, that was fucking me up for a minute because I was like, why do I know this chant? And then I like, it clicked what they were saying. And I was like, you guys got to be fucking kidding yeah. me. Oh, Zach Saber Jr. Anyway. People are amazing. Um, so we got to stand where they all come out. Zach Saber Jr. is beautiful. Fucking gorgeous. Beautiful. And he gets all <laughs> fucking chirpy. And he like, does. He talks so much shit all the time. He, he was just like, listen. I was he, like, like, 
like I had a fucking goddamn moment yeah. when he came out. And hair's all bleached. Hair's all bleached. Always a great look. And then he was in orange, favorite color. So I yeah. was like, oh, okay. Like you made me look twice. Cool. And then of course, as soon as he walked past me, I was like, okay, now where's Nick Gage? Yeah. And so I fucking just like, dude, I was in the stance making sure yeah. I was going to be a part of the pit. Yeah. Oh and yeah. And it happened. <laughs> I was, I was taken. <laughs> I was taken. <laughs> Something, so something fun. took control over him and his body. And I just got, oh my God, it was so much fun. So the music starts playing. He fucking comes out. And like, mind you, majority of, okay, majority of the wrestling fans are dudes. Even at the live shows, it's dudes. There's not yeah. very many women like in the zone trying to see the wrestlers or that like want to get in the pit for Nick Cage. Yeah. I was fucking like, I, me and one of the security guards was messing around with me about like, all right, okay, it's coming. Are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> Um, so I got in there. I was totally on Nick Gage the majority of it until he like turned the corner to go around the ring. And I mean, it was like holding it. his fucking hand. I was shit. holding his hand. I had, I had a hand around his waist. I had my hand on the back of his neck. Just like, fuck yes, I am here for it. I got beer poured all over me. <laughs> oh my God. I was back by the stage and I got beer on me. Yes. Like, like all over my glasses all on my arm like, it was oh, fuck. phenomenal i smelt like beer the rest of the fucking night my hair was drenched it was fantastic what a fucking moment yeah but you had your moment but i had my moment it was amazing i love him so much nick yeah. gage you're great um this fucking match let's hear it okay so when i first saw nick gage for the first time ooh been a couple years it's been a few years nick gage was a gimmick he was not really wrestling he was not really wrestling like nick gage was definitely a gimmick and it was blood and gore and the whole fucking mdk thing but it also like that there was that one time we went and saw gcw and he just came out and talked for like two seconds yeah and then he bounced yeah so like um seeing him in this match with Zack Sabre Jr. who wrestles no no offense to anybody yeah I don't mean to be offensive this is me saying good things I promise like Nick is obviously putting in time and work and was fucking wrestling yeah he's 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 been training with Jordan Oliver Mm -hmm. and fucking shout out to Jordan Oliver yeah holy shit dude like the work you can see the work you can see all the time and the effort being put in like Nick Gage is a totally different wrestler and different man at this point yeah and it shows which is fucking rad as hell he's still all fucking MDK and he'll kill you but yeah (laughs) but um his wrestling has come fucking leaps and bounds from where it was and it's Mm -hmm. exciting to see that shit um Zack Sabre Jr like they both got on the mic and started talking shit for a second and then, oh yeah and then we fucking took off yeah and then it was hard hitting and it was technical which was interesting was to technical. see yeah it was fun but then fucking Zach went through a door Zach did go through a door like, and fucking job. Nick brought Baby. fucking tacks out oh yeah and he had a he had a fucking tack in his back like Jesus Christ oh like, motherfucker you have to wrestle Shabbat on Wednesday what the fuck are you doing <laughs> There was, yeah, like there was some really rad shit. I thought for sure Zack Sabre Jr. had gotten him a few times because it was like he had gotten him in a fucking, what are they called? Submission hold of some sort. Like I know he arm barred the fuck out of him for a second. And I was like, just put your goddamn foot on the rope. Yeah. (laughs) This can't be how you lose. It was bad. Um, I, dude, I got up on the stage where we normally stand and I was screaming the whole fucking time. Yeah. I'm sure if anybody was watching me, I had great reaction faces for a lot of what we were seeing because I was just so taken aback. Yeah. Um, like Jesus, Jesus. It was, there's so much happening. Seriously. It was amazing. Amazing. It was a lot, but it was wonderful. It was great. And th- I mean, this is something that we've said over and over again, but this, this whole card went so quickly i felt like every single thing was amazing Mm -hmm. and like so fucking hard hitting even the last minute thrown together matches that we had were still good yeah great this was a fucking card it was a great card i liked it i had a ton of fun it was a great show we both you and i were like in it we weren't Really, yeah, we like, don't photos (laughs) i was gonna say we don't have a ton of footage from this one because ashley and i will wholeheartedly were just like fuck you were watching wrestling yeah <laughs> yeah like that's all that mattered at that point for sure and then um yeah like fuck man just 
Oh my God. And it was rad being able to see Zack Saber Jr. Yeah. Like that was just fucking cool as hell. Yeah. Like the I had seen him yeah. in New Japan and he was very far away. <laughs> and this was he was right there. He was right there. And the next night he was even closer. <laughs> yes. You just kept inching forward. Yeah. <laughs> I just get a little bit closer. I just a little bit closer. And then on the okay, so um Zack Saber Jr. won this one, which yeah. good for him. He definitely earned it. Like he he did some fun shit. Nick Gage did fun shit. It was a great fucking solid final match. Mm-hmm. Um, Zach leaves. Nick's making his exit. And I'm like, so I've seen a couple of girls do this. And they always manage to get what they're looking for. Yeah. So they just stand, turned around as the wrestler is coming back with their fucking phone ready to take a selfie. And like 95% of the time, the wrestler will stop and take a picture with them. Yeah. So I was like, I'm fucking trying this with Nick Gage. <laughs> and like I got the picture but Nick is blurry and then yeah. and I swear to god I am not the only person to see this and my friend Des caught it on video Nick Gage says I'll be back out like and of course my stupid fucking hard-eyed ass is like he's coming back out so I can get my picture I think he meant I'm coming back to California <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah so we waited all night we waited a hell of a lot longer than we normally do yeah <laughs> which is fine but yeah fucking hell nick gage got me so good that night all right nick gage all right all right it's fine i'll fucking you better fucking come back out in august add him to the list add him to the list man sir gage you guys both fucking owe me i swear to god <laughs> just stay for a picture please yeah. please <laughs> yep yep and then i'll i won't i won't even talk to you i promise like we don't have to say anything no. i don't want to say anything because i don't know what to tell you right just take a picture with me please that's yeah. all i want just a quick hello just a quick one anyways so yeah, there's that. A fantastic show. Fantastic show. Fantastic show. There were, oh my God, we also got, okay. Also Ukrainian Cultural Center. We love this spot. Yeah. There's parking. It's free. The fucking staff at the Ukrainian Cultural Center is amazing. They have fucking food. They do the beer buckets that we have mixed feelings about, yeah. but we partic- we participated this time. Yeah. But our friends, Jojo and Ham were there. Uh. So Jojo, I was talking to him earlier because he responded to my post about going and I was like, fuck yes, you guys are going to be there. And he said that he would try to see if they would switch out one of the beers in the beer bucket for a Diet Coke. And uh-huh. they fucking totally did. Yeah. Yet another reason why Ukrainian Cultural Center will always be su- fucking superior in my mind. Yeah. It's, it's a great best. venue. It's seriously it's the best. Great venue. And then we got to have our fucking after GCW tradition where we got fucking in and out. Hell yeah. It was delicious. Crickets. I know. It's like we both just want to yell for cricket, you know. I want to call her pickles still, yeah. which is I know is wrong. My but... mom calls her cracker. <laughs> we love that. Oh, bye. Cracker, pickles, cricket. We just can't figure out what your name is. Sorry. Crinkle. She gets called crinkle. Crinkle. I mean, that's different. <laughs> yeah, I'm for it. And she's a tiny little orange baby. So yes. Um. So yeah. Holy shit. Good match. Do you have a 10 out of 10? You want to do this? Oh my God. 10 out of 10 in the cage. Yeah. 10 out of 10 Zach Saber. <laughs> super, easy. super easy. We didn't even have to help. We didn't even have to him and haul over nope. it. Fucking dude. Oh my God. Nick Gage. Oh. So <laughs> that's that. Um, I just made a post. I think all of our so- shirts just sold. We found some leftover shirts. There weren't a lot. I think we found like three or four yeah two definitely sold and i'm pretty sure we just sold the other one yeah we okay so all of our shirts sold out so i guess it's time um it's time to time to make a new fucking shirt all right so i'll get started on that since we split from the network ashley and i are going to take a few weeks get some stuff like ready to go waiting in the wings i think we are going to be coming in hot with a patreon with a bunch of different stuff for you guys um over the course of the next few months i promise that we will have new merch Mm -hmm. um because i've got ideas we just need the funds maybe through the patreon we'll make some funds we'll fucking find out won't we yes um, so that's all. Just know that we do have plans for the future. We're gonna have a lot of fucking fun and we're fucking and if, back. If there's anything you want to see from us, just always let us know. Yeah, dude. If you guys want to see something specific, tell us. Yeah. Like we're down to hear from you guys. Oh, absolutely. Um, I have more wrestling games I want to play. Hell yeah. So that'll be fun. We'll do game episodes. And we will have guests. I w- yeah, we want to start doing stuff on Twitch and so yeah. So we're gonna have fun. We're gonna have a fucking blast around here, guys. Yeah. 
Um, so that's that for this week. Bear with us while we fucking reorganize and rebrand and we'll fucking come back swinging. Yep. As you know, though, drink your fucking water and be fucking nice. Yeah. And then if you aren't already doing it, you can find us on Twitter at HTTWPod or on Instagram at How to Talk Wrestling Pod. And as soon as we come up with anything else you need to follow us on, we'll let you know. But yeah. until then, uh, have a good one. Bye. Bye. Ring Post Radio is the only show hosted by Ryan 19 and Scotty Edwards that talks about the entire world of professional wrestling. With new episodes coming out every Sunday, there is absolutely no reason to not listen to real, honest wrestling opinions from two crazy maniacs. Have a hot boy summer and listen along to Ring Post Radio every Sunday on the Countout Network. This has been a Countout Podcast.